Today's video, I talk about the exciting features and functionalities of the Bloxy theme for e-commerce business. You will need a Bloxy theme premium subscription to follow along. Let's begin. Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Natalie. I make videos to help you master your WordPress skills and to make more money online. Before we get started, make sure you support the channel by giving a big thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to the channel. We all know Gutenberg is the future of WordPress and it's going to stay here for long. When it comes to customizing a website, a granular design control over the layout settings is crucial. The Bloxy theme offers an advanced intuitive customizer without touching any, any line of code. Some of the notable Bloxy theme WooCommerce features are Quick View Module, Floating Card, Off Canvas Filter, Product Share Icons, Custom Sidebars with Conditional Display, Gallery Slider with lots of control, Wishlist feature and more. So that you can supercharge your WooCommerce business with these amazing features. To access the WordPress Customizer, head over to Appearance and Customize. The first thing I want to do is to activate the Dark Mode. I am a Dark Mode lover. Just navigate to the bottom and click on the little icon and publish the changes. The block theme settings consists of six sections. General, Post Types, Pages, WooCommerce, Extensions and Core. The video is about WooCommerce, so I focus only on WooCommerce features we get from the Blox Premium. Whenever necessary, I go deeper on the other ones, but for this video I want to only focus on WooCommerce features. WooCommerce tabs and the general, you got the message and color, the star rating and the quantity input. Also the sale and the stock page, where you can control the shape to a square or a circle. Custom shape is good when you are running a campaign and want to offer coupon codes. You just need to insert the percentage of the campaign as you are watching. You can also customize the way you want. I type in 20% off and as you can see it has been immediately applied to all my products. You can control the colors and the shapes. The store notice at the bottom is useful to show your customers a site-wide store notice. In other words, your custom banner. You can enter your custom message in the text area to be shown to your customers. The three left sections now the account page lets you customize the page elements of my account page. You have options to make each account page personalized for every of your visitors. You can enable or disable their avatar image to log in users in their account page. Also their username and quick links to the account detail. The checkout page you get a lot of options such as a coupon form, highlighting or not the required fields and below we have options to set three fields to be optional, required or hidden. This is useful if you want to streamline your business workflow, encouraging customers to purchase more products. Additionally, you can set here your privacy policy and terms and condition pages which are mandatory pages. The product wishlist. It's a Bloxy Theme Pro extension. First, you should enable from the Bloxy dashboard WooCommerce Extras extension. After that, you can display the wishlist button on Archive Pages, Single Product Page, and Quick View Model. It allows visitors to add products to their wishlist to, to purchase them later. In the Design tab, you determine the initial and over colors for all your devices. Product Archives The Product Archives is a collection of all products. It contains all the product posts in one place. The first page title option, we can enable or disable the page title. Below, we have the two possible design layouts at our disposal. The Type 1 and the Type 2. 
The Type 1 lets you display a classic, beautiful typography, typographic look for your title and navigation breadcrumbs, while Type 2 lets you have a full bleed background image for your title container. Below, you determine the number of columns and rows to display your products. You click on the mobile control at the bottom. Now I'm scrolling down to check. As you can see, the Bloxy theme automatically changed the default layout into one column and to auto, meaning this block will take all the available horizontal space within the, the containing block. Click again on the desktop control at the bottom now. In the product archives, you have the card options. You control here the image ratio and size for your products. Three image over effects helping you to impact while the user browses your content. The zoom in, the zoom out and the swap over effects. The video thumbnail. If enabled, you can add a video as a post feature image meaning you can replace the feature product image with a video thumbnail. Here, you determine the page elements. You can show or hide any of these elements. For instance, if you enable the sidebar option, you can choose the left or right sidebar position, which I found to be a great choice to utilize. I will show in more details about the sidebar and conditional display. If you want pagination, just enable and choose between the four pagination types you want to use, standard one, next previous, load more and infinite scroll. Of canvas filter is where you can add filter options. It opens up with a single click. Pick up the filter icon type, the visibility, the panel revealed left or right side, also the panel width. You just need to add a widget here by clicking on the Add a Widget button to get populated with your filtering choices. Four design layouts for your single product page. You have the narrow width, the normal width, the left sidebar position and with a right sidebar position. The product gallery section is part of Bloxy Premium. It offers four types of product gallery options. The type 1 is the classic one, it's a free version feature. The type 2 offers a full screen gallery with the thumbnails at the bottom. The type 3 is a grid layout classic and the Type 4 beautiful carousel view for the gallery. Below we have gallery options based on the gallery type you have picked up before. Product elements, you determine the product elements, of course. I like this share box element. Let me enable this. I enable the share box and we get an inline list containing social media links so users can share to their friends and families already with a no to follow link enabled. You have full control over it. Below in the page elements you, de you decide whether you want to display the product tabs and the related products. If you click in related and upsells you decide how many products you want to display on desktop and mobiles. Now clicking on the floating card, here while the user scrolls down to the page it displays a floating card with the product added to the card. Let's add a card to the header, this is a premium Bloxy theme feature. Add, let's add a card to the header, so head over to the header section and from the available items I drag from the header elements list the card element to the middle row and I also delete by clicking on the close icon the search element. Now I click on the card element from the left panel, scroll down and find the card drawers, drawer section. You got two options, two option types, the drop down style and the off canvas menu option.
the Bloxy theme premium enables the option to have dynamic sidebars. So first, head over to the Bloxy theme section from your WordPress admin, and then activate the multiple sidebar extension. I open up the shop page and then customize. At the top, click on the products archive tab. In the page elements, you can enable the sidebar. Next, navigate over to General Options at the top, Sidebar. You can choose between the four design layouts and the colors, and you can determine the sidebar width and the spacing settings. Let's populate now with some widgets. So to do that, navigate over to Appearance, Widgets, and then click on the WooCommerce sidebar. Click Add a widget, add its products by rating list, and, two mo and a one more widget. To conclude, I want to show an amazing Bloxy, Bloxy theme feature that is to create additional sidebars. So from this widget area, you just need to give it a name and click on Create Sidebar. Then you just, add, you just need to add the widgets you want to use. Clicking on the little gear icon, you can determine the conditional content display, which is an amazing functionality. Let's populate now a contact information widget. I just want to display on the front page. So I just need to select from this extensively drop down list. Additionally, you can also set the display conditions based on the WordPress user roles. I set mine to admin as I am the admin and I save the settings inside and refresh. This is powerful. It reminds me of a very similar Cadence Team Pro feature. If you want to delete the widget area, it's quite simple. Head over to the widget dashboard, click on this little close icon and you are done. So, I hope this WooCommerce guide has been helpful to you. I'm planning to create more Bloxy theme tutorials with more advanced features. I really recommend this theme is one of the best WordPress themes for 2021. If you agree with me and want more videos like this, just write down on the comment section a yes or a no. Thank you so much for watching. Please support the channel by subscribing and leaving a big thumbs up. Bye bye, take care.